Hello! This video will teach UW Superior students how to get started conducting research in the field of political science using the resources available through the Jim Danhill Library. Let's begin at the library's website, which can be found at library.uwsuper.edu. Through the Jim Danhill Library, you have access to over 80,000 print books, hundreds of thousands of ebooks, thousands of journals, streaming videos, and much more. You can access these resources by using our library's databases. But first, let me give you a quick tour of the website. Using this search box, you can access our catalog, which contains the library's print and ebook collection. It also pulls in resources such as journal, newspaper, and magazine articles from many of our subject databases. If you would like to search in a subject database, you can use the databases A to Z list which provides you access to a list of over 200 databases. If you know the name of a journal you would like to read or search within, you can locate that journal using this link. Enter the name of the journal in the search box and you will be directed to the appropriate database. Our librarians have developed many help guides and subject guides to assist students with locating, evaluating, and citing research within various fields of study. Let's take a look at the Political Science Subject Guide. This guide is a great place to start your research in the field of political science because it directs you to subject-specific sources, such as databases, background information, and books. To access a database, click on the title. If you are off campus, you will be asked to log in with your UWS credentials first. Let's go back to the library's homepage to explore the catalog. To conduct a search in the catalog, enter a keyword or phrase into this search box. Then click the drop down menu next to Select Scope and select Books and Media UW Superior. If you select Books and Media UW System, you can request print books to be shipped to our library from other libraries in the UW system for free. If you are an online student, you can follow this link to learn how to ship print books to your home from any library in the UW system. Finally, click the blue Search at UW button. Here on the results page, we can see that there are over 1,800 results. On the left-hand side, there are many ways to narrow our search using the provided filters. First, let's narrow to Books Only under Resource Type. If you'd like, you could narrow your search to ebooks by clicking Available Online or print books by clicking Held by Library. If you click on a title, you can learn more about this text and access this ebook. To view the ebook, look under View Online and click the available blue link. This will take you to another database that contains the ebook. To save this book, you can email this record to yourself or send yourself this permalink, which is a permanent link that will always get you back to this book record in the database. Pro tip, in any library database, never use the URL at the top of the page to get back to the resource later. It will not work. Always look for a permalink. Going back to our original results page for books, to access a print book in the library, like this one, you will need to take note of the book's call number, which is a list of letters and numbers that will tell you where to find the book in the library. If you need assistance locating a book, you can ask a staff member at the front desk for help. You can use the catalog to search for other resources than just books about your topic. And you can do this by selecting the scope of articles and more. However, to save you time sorting through many unrelated results, I recommend using the political science related databases outlined in the political science subject guide, such as JSTOR. To get to JSTOR, let's go back to the library's website. First, click on databases A to Z, then click on J, and click on JSTOR. When you first enter JSTOR, you will see a search box where you can do a basic search for journal articles, books, and even images. As you type, you'll see the database offer to turn your keyword search into an author search, a title search, a publication search, or an image search. Select one of these options if you know exactly what resource you are looking for. For now, let's stick with a keyword search. 
Here on the results page, you can see that there are hundreds of thousands of results. The easiest way to narrow your results to a more relevant and manageable list is by using the filters on the left-hand side of the page. First, let's change our axis type to everything. This will allow us to request resources for free through interlibrary loan. Next, consider if you'd like to search for a topic more specific than your original. For instance, I could search for court packing within the results. Notice how this greatly decreased our number of results. Finally, you can narrow your search by content type, publication date, subject, or language. Looking at the results, you will see the title of the resource, the author, where the item was published, and samples of where your keywords appear in the resource. Click the title to view the item. On this page, you can read the abstract or summary of the article. Here is the DOI, or Digital Object Identifier, which is a unique link that will always get you back to this article. Here you can find the citation of an item that is generated by the database. Be sure to double check this against the appropriate style guide. And finally, you can either download the item or read it right here in your web browser. If you have any questions or if you need assistance with your research, please contact a librarian. We are available by appointment through the Ask a Librarian page and by email at askref at uwsuper.edu.